Hi, I'm Jessie, DIYer and upcycler. Today we'll be making a personalized picture collage for, come to life for cheap. This project will cost you around $25 and it should take about two hours. I'll start with things you can get from the Dollar Tree, then you can head to another home improvement store for the rest. See the comments for a full list. White and black acrylic paint, small clothes pins, masking tape, wood glue, paintbrush, a sharpie, vinyl for your Cricut, Mod Podge and a matte finish, a T-square, picture hanging bracket, 13 beautiful pictures, and last, a 36 inch by 24 inch piece of plywood. Optional craft scraper or crafter's pick. As you can see, this is what I found out at the home improvement store it's a little less than 24 inches wide and definitely taller so you will have to cut it down once you do cut it down to the 36 inches use the air sanding block that you get at the dollar tree to just clean up the edges a little bit so you will need a skill saw or some home improvement stores will actually cut that for you i know home depot does but i'm not sure about others After you've gotten your cut board home, clean it up, wipe it down, make sure there's no dust and you can paint it white. If you want a see-through look like mine, you add a little bit of water. Go ahead and screenshot this area with the measurements so that you can refer back to it when you need to. At this point you're going to grab the T-square so we can get started with our measurements. You have the option to Go ahead and put a dot like I did at all the locations that you will need a clothespin or you can go in individually and just glue as you go. I like to go ahead and place all of them down. See how I like it? That way you can decide if you want to change the entire arrangement. I work from the bottom up with the measurements. Once I get to the top, I have about eight inches left. You have to subtract the half inch border that will be at the top. And then also I wanted the same amount from the clothespins to the logo here. I had about five and a half inches left to work with that I thought would look the best. Once I sized that, it, the Cricut automatically decided that it would be 16 and a quarter inches long. So then I went back to the board and measured how that would look if I needed to go back into Fonto and change anything to make it look better. But I liked it the way it was. To create the saying, I have a separate video on how to get the font into the Fonto app is what it's called and then load it up onto your Cricut so that you can cut it out. If you're using Dollar Tree vinyl, do not use a standard grip. Use a low grip because you will have instant regret and have to clean up the entire mat. I always weed on my mat that I cut out my saying on. Next, I use the Dollar Tree transfer tape to transfer it to the collage board. The Dollar Tree vinyl is slippery, so move slow, make sure you get it straight, and that way you don't have to start over. This is where that crafter's pick can come in handy, but you can use the tweezers if that's all that you have. This part was probably the most tedious part. I lost the eye, as you can see, in the middle of the process, so I just went back with my Sharpie and put that in by hand. Go ahead and put on a very thick layer of matte Mod Podge. This way you know it will stay in place because it, the Dollar Tree vinyl is not as sticky or sturdy. Here I'm moving on to making a half inch border with my T-square. I used a sharpie to make the initial outline. Went back in with black paint. I didn't like how slow it was going so I decided to use masking tape to make a sharper edge and that way I could move a little more quickly. I painted the outside edge too so when it's hanging on the wall what you see is a black edge and not the side of the plywood. Now you can finally add your picture hanging bracket and add your beautiful pictures. You can also go ahead and apply a second layer of Mod Podge to the entire board so that you have a nice finish that is easily wiped down. Check out the description for the supply list and the linked videos for any tutorials that I mentioned. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments.